What is up everyone, my name is Alfred from Games Rib, and I bring you a, uh, a bit of a dark time today. We take a look at another Castlevania Beats of Rage. That's it, right, we are going fully fledged back into the Beats of Rage universe. This one takes elements from Symphony of the Night and a couple others, so this one you're probably going to love. Let's just go for it, let's take a look. Here we go, another awesome Beats of Rage title. This time we're taking a look at Castlevania Moonlight Nocturne. That's right, one of you, or in fact most of you, have probably never even heard of this. But don't get me wrong, there's so many Beats of Rage titles out there now that we just keep seeing new ones all the damn time, which I actually am starting to grow to love because it means we've got new stories, new ideas, tons of different new things happening. And that's great for any franchise. Another cool thing is there is a nice little selection of characters including Richter, so it's great if you're a fan of Symphony of the Night or any of the others, then you're actually going to be able to pick a character that you might actually like to play. And as Beats of Rage actually starts off really nice and simple. It doesn't build up the difficulty straight off the bat, whereas some of these can literally throw you straight into the deep end. Now, don't get me wrong, the game is simple. There are only really three buttons to use, aka jump, special attack, and standard hit. Once you get the hang of those, which is very, very simple, you'll have no issues controlling your character at all. Now, you do use the D-pad as well. You can actually use the analog stick with this one, but I'd say don't use it, use the D-pad. It just feels right, it just works. Other thing is the hit detection is really damn spot on with this one. Some of them, you do get it and it doesn't feel like it ever really actually connects that well. It feels like the hitboxes are in the right place and it just means a game like this can play that much better. Because a lot of the times with these games, when the hitboxes are absolutely all over the place, it just doesn't work. It doesn't really fit this type of game. If the hitboxes aren't right, then really why are you playing a Beats of Rage game? Now, it doesn't take too long for some bosses from previous games to actually start appearing. In fact, literally within the first minute or two, you're at your first, we'll call it a mini boss, because it's not really a main boss. And to be fair, the game does have bosses, but they don't really feel like special occasions, if that makes sense. Because with a lot of games, when you get to a boss, it feels like you've built up to a final event. Whereas with this, you go through the horde of enemies, you meet a bigger boss, and then move on. To me, that doesn't quite feel like a boss. It feels like, I'm going to say boss one more time, a mini boss. That's what it basically feels like. Now the backs in this game are all but useless. In fact, most of the flying enemies in this game really are. Apart from the Medusa heads, they actually feel like they are a bit of a challenge, but the bats just seem to, they seem to float around and not do a whole lot, which is a shame. Now, the good ba thing about this game is the balance of the enemies is actually really decent. And what I mean by that is your first amount of enemies, they're pretty much one hit kills apart from the armored enemies. But the further you get into the game, the difficulty will get a little bit harder and you will have to use more hits to essentially take out the enemies. Which to me is balanced gameplay, it's staged in that way, it makes sense. But yeah, your first boss, or proper boss I'll call it, is essentially a dragon, which is an absolute pain in the ass if you're Alucard. Yeah, if you're Richter, where your special is actually throwing an axe into the air, yes, that makes sense with a boss like this. But with Alucard, with his special attack, it only fires at one level, which isn't really good enough when you want to be using your special attack against an enemy like this. Now, as you'd expect, every level ends with a score count, which is a kind of boring looking page. I've got to be honest, I wish they put a little bit more effort into the stage complete screens, but it does what it does. It tells you your points and then it moves on to the next stage. Now, one thing I will say is I think the 
The visuals here are actually really nice looking. I really like the backgrounds. A lot of these games, sometimes the backgrounds just don't seem like they've really had all that much effort put into them. But Moonlight Nocturne kind of feels like it actually does. We also like this little icon that says basically go to the next part of the screen. Really like that. It's a nice little callback to the original Castlevania. But yeah, I think it's a really good looking Beats of Rage. Even the animations are looking absolutely fantastic. Even the explosion animations, everything just seems to fit and looks right. Including down to the fact that Richter's chain does also flash those different colours as it does in the actual other games. So yeah, attention to detail with this one really is key. And I love the also the variation in the enemies. We've got like the tiny little jumping creatures. Don't know what the hell they're meant to be. Either way, I know they've been in previous Castlevania games. And it's great to see a nice range of enemies here. It's not just the one that changes different colors and then that you know they're a little bit harder which happens in a lot let me tell you a lot of beats of rage games bar this one i really have to praise this one because i really have enjoyed playing this now yes it is a short game here there's only a few stages yes there's also a boss mode which literally is just going through the bosses one after another and then a test level which just throws you straight into this level, which I don't really understand why it's there. Hey, it is called a test at the end of the day. It was obviously left in for a reason. Not really sure why though. But yeah, most of the bosses are really rinse and repeat. Hit them a few times, or quite a few times, <laughs> repeatedly, and then eventually you will kill them. After that, yes, the level ends and then you're on to the next one. Like I said though, there really is only a few levels but the ones that are here are really, really decent. I would have liked to have seen this one gone for a bit longer. Like I said, you can really complete this in about 15 to 20 minutes, which is a shame because really, with a game like this, it feels like it should be going on for at least an hour. There are some Beats of Rage games that are up to an hour and a half long, and there's not many of them because most of them are really just trials for developers to get into developing games for the Dreamcast, and the Beats of Rage engine is a way to do that now yeah like i said vibrant very much playful this game in the sense that you could play this over and over again and you probably wouldn't get bored possibly notice something slightly different each time now like i said the boss fights really are pretty decent the problem with this one right here is the boss actually kept running off the screen which was a shame because i feel like i would have liked to have seen this boss a little bit more i think he's a really cool looking character i love the werewolf two-headed werewolf looking character i love it but yes i would have loved to obviously seen a bit more of him now let's take a quick look at the boss mode and the test mode and you'll see what i'm talking about So, so this is it this is boss rush yeah it really is just rinse and repeat you are just destroying the bosses which hey if you want that sort of challenge to get a decent score i do think this is a nice little addition to most beats of rage games a lot of them do have this and it's something that i actually quite like so i'm i'm certainly happy it's here now yeah to sum it all up this is a fantastic little beats of rage castlevania moonlight nocturne i really would 100 percent say give it a go i think you like it although very very short could have been built upon a little bit more made it a little bit longer even stretch it to half an hour but hey it's a nice little beats of rage hope you've liked this one like comment and subscribe and if you'd like some more beats of rage reviews do let me know because there are there is a few coming like comment and subscribe i'll see you all soon